Hi guys, welcome to Triple Tree. With the current saga about authorities imposing greater penalties on non-PSB approved helmets, we want to find out if these non-approved helmets really are a danger to motorcyclists. For more weekly content, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our Facebook page. So here we have an $80 PSB approved helmet and we are going to see if it survives our crash test. We will drop the helmet face down, smack it on the top, at the front with the visor closed, with a sandbag in it to simulate the weight of a human head and see how the helmet holds up. With the PSB approved helmet, the structural integrity of the helmet is definitely of a certain standard. It survived the drop test, but the visor and the sandbag broke in the frontal heat. Still okay. You may need plastic surgery, but will probably survive. The ones who know about helmet standards would also know that SNAIL and ECE are recognized as global standards. Professional race teams all around the world adhere to them. Major motorcycle helmet manufacturers design their products based on these up-to-date standards. If major race teams with riders surpassing 200 km per hour consistently recognize this standard, why shouldn't we? Authorities are imposing fines for the use of helmets that have this global standard certification but without the PSB one. Does that mean that these helmets are not up to safety standard for PSB? We have a $500 full face helmet that is not certified by PSB but is by ECE. Let's see how it holds up to our crash test. This clearly shows that international standards are very okay. The ECE approved helmet held up to the drop test, top heat and frontal heat on the chin bar. Only the paint cracked on the top heat. Structural integrity held up. The visor broke on direct impact but the golf club was deflected away from the helmet and didn't make it through to the sandbag. But if you are caught using this helmet on the road without PSB certification, you risk getting up to 3 months jail and or a $500 fine for first-time offenders and up to 6 months jail and or a $1,000 fine for repeated offenders. There is a current proposal to double this penalty. In our opinion, this may backfire. My RI, Snell certified, $1,100 cannot use. Climb, DOT and EC certified, $1,100 cannot use. Next, ECE certified. $700 also cannot use. Tares, PSB certified, $70, legal and deemed safer. We would prefer if the authorities focus on educating the public on who the credible motorcycle helmet dealers are and where and how to avoid getting counterfeits. Here is an example of a helmet that does not have any safety certification. Let's see how this $15 one performs in our crash test. Enough said, but we are not done. We stand by the Singapore Motorcycle Trade Association in urging the authorities to review the current standards and perhaps accept ECE 
and snail standards to prevent extra cost to customers while ensuring safety. Yes, non-tested Taobao helmets can be very dangerous. Not okay. But helmets that are certified by snail or ECE should be recognized and allowed on public roads without the need for PSB approval. Or instead of testing per batch, test each model once. Even better yet, make the testing free. The idea is not to earn money, it is to ensure the safety of all riders. With that, I'm Winston and see you on the road.